Hello, my name is Annie Campbell. I'm a medical illustrator and animator, and welcome back to my channel. So predominantly, I work with 2D medical illustrations, 3D assets as well, so, and we also do 3D animations. So our workstations are built to support those kind of projects. And this particular setup that I have works really, really well for me. And if you're starting out, I wouldn't really expect you to have this kind of setup. Just keep in mind that, I, you know, I've been doing this for 10 years and the equipment that I'm about to show you that I have, I've accumulated them throughout all those years. And I don't expect anyone who's starting in the industry to suddenly buy and purchase all of these things. So some people have asked me whether or not like I use a Cintiq or, you know, one of those standing drawing monitors. For me, it's not something that's versatile because we tend to switch about between 3D and 2D. And I like to use the mouse when I'm doing 3D modeling or also I use a lot the mouse when I'm doing layout designs and vector work like that because I want to have more control over where I plot my points. If you're starting out, investing in a large drawing tablet, if you don't know anything about digital illustration is probably not gonna be the best investment for you. I would say to start small, start cheaply, and then work your way up and progress as your skills progress. So when I started off, I worked with the MacBook Pro laptop and I had a really crappy Wacom tablet that I'll try and pull out for you. found it. So when I first started out studying medical illustration, uh, I didn't have all the most expensive equipment available to me. This was my first ever Wacom tablet that I bought like more than 10 years ago now. And it did me well and it helped me learn how to draw digitally. Then I um, used like student discounts to buy and upgrade my equipment. So this was like the second Wacom tablet that I had. And this one lasted me for about eight years or something like that. And it still works, which I'm really impressed with. And then over for the past couple of years, I've been working with this Wacom tablet right now, which is really great, it's really portable. I think it's large enough for me to kind of move my whole arm around it, but not so large that it kind of overtakes my desk space back there. And also um, what I really like about this model is that the wire comes off so you can have it as a wireless but I tend to keep it plugged in because I always forget to charge it if I take it off and this is one that we buy for all of our artists that work in our medical illustration studio so a nice cheaper alternative to the Wacom Intuos Pro is the Wacom Intuos tablet and this is one that my partner uses at home it's definitely a lot cheaper and is at a greater price point and you can also get ones that are smaller size so it's portable so it's great that if you're traveling or on the go you can definitely use this and has a nice handy little pocket for your pen as well so if you're starting out maybe check out something like this and also wacom have other options for you as well that are cheaper I, i'm showing you this right now is just so that you can see that you can progress and grow and treat yourself to better equipment as you grow throughout your career and also as you budget and are able to buy this equipment. You don't have to start off with the most expensive equipment. So go with a cheaper option first, level up your skill set, and once you are getting paid enough and you're making a profit in your business, invest in better equipment. Comment below if you have any questions or if you like me to do any more videos such as things about the software that I use. There's also other equipment that I have as well that um, I haven't covered. I have, I use my iPad and Procreate all the time as well. And also if you're interested in buying any of the equipment that uh, I use, I'm gonna put Amazon affiliate links down below in the description. Now these are at no extra cost to you, but it does give me a little bit of a commission so that I can continue working and creating these videos for you. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Make sure you hit subscribe and the bell icon below so you don't miss other videos like this. If you have suggestions for future videos, definitely comment below or send me an email or a DM, DM on Instagram. We'd love to hear your feedback. And thanks so much for watching, everyone.